Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to conclude the last 12 round of the Earth Shriekers tournament. And we're not going to dilly dally, we got three matches to get it stuck into. Starting off with Tajonosaurus going up against Cychania Tacta, Cychania going up against Edmontonia, and Talarurus going up against Uoplocephalus. And like I said, talk is cheap, let's get on with it. Alright, in the red corner we have the King of the Crets, the Tajonosaurus. This Tajongosaurus, defeating the Lexovasaurus in the first round, was quite impressive there, and we definitely saw what it can do. However, it's going to be tough because in the blue corner, we have the tournament favourite itself, the Cychania Tector. Cychania Tector quick, quickly and easily dispatched the Nodosaurus in the first round, and it is quite the favourite in this matchup as well. But the Tujong Tujongosaurus does have that mega powerful crit. Will we see it in action? I know it's, this tournament has flown mainly because I've been upload, uploading like crazy with regards to this tournament. Because I, I, I want to finish it before I start the big one. And we also need a third dinosaur for the champions team. So far we only have two. And the winner of this tournament will be in that team. And look at that! A crit from the Tajongosaurus, an Anyang Gear a die, and a critical block. Tajongosaurus looking mightily impressive there. Ooh, but the Archaeopteryx charm coming in handy there. Healing up Tank Tector a bit. Oh! Oh, that's interesting! So apparently, Archaeopteryx charm stops things like critical block. Very interesting. I did not know that. Well, you learn something new every day, kid, guys. Apparently, Archaeopteryx Charm can stop Critical Block. Really didn't know that. And because of that, the Tank Tector has fought his way back. Well, that's game for Tajongosaurus. Oh, we would have seen the Dino Tector. I don't know if we'll see the Dino Tector in this tournament, but tank the Cychania Tector dispatching things quite quickly. Although the Tajongosaurus did get off to a good start with our crit, the Cychania Tector pulled through and won round one. But it's still all to play for as we get on with round two. Alrighty then, round two between our two Earthshaker combatants. Can the Tajongosaurus come back and even the score? Or will it be another 2 0 win for Cychania Tector? Ooh, that's a tie. Ties suit the Cychania Tector more because of the tie attack. And that definitely suits Cychania Tector at opening hit. Tajongosaurus getting that crit off though. Here comes the critical block. Will the Archaeopteryx charm be there to save Cychania Tector this time? Oh, it is! And yet again, the critical block is stopped. But the rock roller has been triggered. And if Tajongosaurus gets that off, it will be even in the score. Another tie. Ooh, we might get to see Dino Tector, which means I might have to get my notes out. Nope, we're not seeing Dino Tector yet. A well-timed rock roller imminent from Tajongosaurus, which will all but definitely finish off the Cychania Tector and even the score. Hmm, so you know what that means. It's all going to come down to, to the next matchup once the animations of this matchup finish. Ah, he's gone belly up. Yeah. Because they needed it. <laughs> Tajongosaurus showing its might. So yeah, as I just said, it all comes down to this next round. Ooh, we're in a Colosseum, which is fitting of a clash of behemoths. Can the Cychania Tector see this out? Or can the Tajongosaurus complete its comeback? Be I don't know, because Tajongosaurus is, is a really strong combatant in this tournament. But yeah, it would still be an upset if Tajongosaurus won. Oh, it's another tie. We've seen quite a few ties in this matchup overall. And we've seen a crit from Tajongosaurus yet again. And yet again, the critical block is incoming. 
but will Archaeopteryx Charm come to save the day this time? Oh, it does! And it actually heals it, the Cychenia Tector up a bit more. Nice! Archaeopteryx Charm there definitely played a role in this match. A Cychenia Tector strikes back. Ooh, Tajongasaurus, oh, getting a sneaky little head off there. It really wants to get a crit off. Crystal Crusher being triggered, which could come in very handy, given how many ties we've had in this match. And, <laughs> of course, when the Cyclonia Detect actually gets Crystal Crusher triggered, it ends up. You know, it's kind of a one in three chance, I suppose, but look at this. Tajongasaurus showing its power. Oh, I... <laughs> I think the Cygenia Tector might have just snatched it. Oh, it hasn't, but look at that. Even in the score in an instant. Please don't be a tie. Oh, the Tajongasaurus! The Tajongasaurus has done it! Cygenia Tector, the tournament favourite, has bit the dust. What an upset there. Tajongasaurus looking mightily impressive. And that could change everything. The Cychenia Tector is gone. Tajongasaurus will be advancing to the semi-finals. I think it's the semi-finals. Might be the finals. I'll have to double... <laughs> I don't even know the bracket of my own tournament. Some host I am. But okay, that's enough about that matchup. On to our next matchup, which sees one of the other tournament favourites, the Cychenia, going up against Edmontonia. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have one of the other tournament favourites, the Cychania. Can this Cychania avoid the same fate the Cychania Tector had? Or will the, or will its opponent knock Cychania out? I might say this is, well, I'd say this is on the same playing field, in a, to a degree. But anyway, in the blue corner we have the Edmontonia. Edmontonia was quite dominant in its opening round win against the Soropelter. Hardly took a hit. But I suspect the Cychania will test it a lot more. And yes, I did check the bracket things and I am an idiot. The Tijonosaurus advanced to the semi-finals where it will face the Desantororos. <laughs> oh, and yes, I, I do hope to get this tournament finished next week. Which is when the deadline for my big tournament will be. Um, I don't know if I'll post... I might post the semi-final matchups and the final matchups together? No, I'll do, it, I'll do it on separate days. But I do plan to get this tournament done next week. And then, we can look forward to the main event. The one you've all been looking forward to. The Thousand Subscribers Special Tournament. And, if you still want to join, there's still plenty of time. Well, there's only a few days left of the deadline, less than a week to go before said deadline. So enter ASAPs. Well, Cygenia dominating so far. Edmontonia not looking good at all. And yet, three tail smashes from the Cygenia is going to smash the Edmontonia into oblivion and give Cygenia a 1-0 lead. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was in hurt for a second here, but yeah. Cygenia dominant so far. Can it keep it up, or will the Edmontonia bite back in round two? Okay then, round two between these two. Will the Edmontonia land a hit on the Cychania, or will Cychania continue to dominate? Um, I hope for the match's sake that Edmontonia puts up a fight. Don't want Cychania to one two shot its way to victory. It's kind of boring, isn't it? Oh, that's a set. And that's a promising start from Edmontonia, a crit right off the bat. Yeah, sticking those spikes in the ground. Ooh, a defense burst as well, that could come in handy. Ooh, that's a tight. Recovery can come in as well as Tail Smash. Ooh, 
Not much damage done. The fence is doing its job. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, that's a tie. And Edmontonia getting a hit. Sychenia not in the best of shapes, but neither is Edmonton. Well, Edmontonia is not too bad. But there's another type. Ooh, I think Edmontonia has just scored a knockout. Yep, that's Ed that's Sychenia down, and Edmontonia has even the score. So you know what that means? It all comes down to this next round. <laughs> Alright then, round three between these two. And yes, if I do sound a bit tired, it's because I am, because it's quite late. And, well, it's half past ten in the night. And I don't usually record in the night. <laughs> record in the morning when I'm fresh. But yeah, that's not going to stop me from tuning out lovely content for you people. Oh, we start with a tie. Uh, I might see ties might favor the Edmontoni more. Seem to take less. Uh oh. Yo, RNG's doing it again. And no, ties favor the Cychania more from the looks of it. I think it's because this Cychania is tie type. Okay, that's a one. And a five. So, Ed. So, yes, Edmontoni getting the first hit. Not much damage done, though. Edmontonia's power is in the crypt. Thought I clipped bloody. Please don't be a. F Please be a five. <laughs> okay, well, Cygenia Cy gets the hit. A light recovery in imminent. Not not much damage dealt though, and not much health recovered. Okay, that's a six, and you are a five. Cygenia striking back. Ooh. I think that's going to be a killer blow for the Cygenia. Edmontonia is about to bite the dust. Or get smashed into the earth. Well, by the earth. Yep, Edmontonia is gone. Cygenia winning it all. Booking its place in the semi-finals where its opponent will be determined in this next matchup, which sees Euoplocephalus going up against Ankylosaurus. Okay then, in the red corner, we have Italarurus. The no-eyed lizard here, Italarurus has seen play in my tournaments, and was quite impressive in defeating the Alpha Kentrosaurus in the first round. That Quake Saber definitely packs a punch. But, one other dinosaur that packs a punch is in the blue corner, where we have a Euoplocephalus. Yes, Euoplocephalus again was mightily impressive in its first round win over the Ankylosaurus. And yes, I know I said Euoplocephalus against Ankylosaurus. I screwed up, okay? It's Talaroas taking on Euoplocephalus. Euoplocephalus, though, will be quite the favourite in this matchup. Because what? Both of these two have Quake Saber, but Euoplocephalus' Quake Saber hits just a little bit harder. Ooh, but the Talarurus getting off the first hit, and it's a Dino Swing. Good start there, good start. But the Euoplocephalus. Quick to strike back with a kamikaze tackle. Oh my goodness, that damage! Yeah, the yeah, so see what this is, is attack type. Wow, it took half its health. Very impressive. Like, that wasn't even its crept. I mean, you the this does have very balanced attack stats, and it has the luxury of having an attack type varied as well, which makes the Octocephalus pretty beastly. And like, even a non crit could two-shot this thing. Very impressive. But the Talamorus is still putting up a fight. Oh, hang on. Gotta get me buttons ready. Boosh. The 
Raging cats of the Rottlocephalus are about to get cracked. Tala Brothers taking a 1 0 lead. Things spicing up a bit. We've, well, we've already had one upset in this video. Are we on course for another? You up the Cephalus? Only got off one hit there. But Tala Rubbers was impressive. Boosh! Bashing its tail down in victory there. Although it's not a total victory because it needs another win. So don't count the Oplocephalus out yet. It could win the next two rounds. So let's find out if it can when we move on to round two. Oh, we're back in the magma field. Can the Talarurus continue its impressive form against Euoplocephalus? Or can the Euoplocephalus fight back? <laughs> oh, Euoplocephalus getting the opening crit there. That's going to do not as much damage as Kamikaze Tackle did. Of course, the Quake Saber wasn't triggered, so we do have to take that into account. Ooh, Atal Rurus getting off another kneecap smashing triple headbutt. Aye, you like this squeaky. I should make these guys. For Jurassic World Evolution, the Stegoceruses. I do, need a, I do need quite a few more, like, small, small dinosaurs so we could do a mini battle right now. No, I won't say anything. <laughs> I was going to say something, but no, I'm not going to say anything. Ooh, the Quake Sabers have been triggered. <laughs> they both went for it. Ties favour the Talarurus more. But I think that will even the score for Euoplocephalus. Boosh. Yep. Euoplocephalus has even the score there with a well-timed kamikaze tackle. So you know what that means, just like in the first matchup, just like in the second matchup, it all comes down to this third round. Alrighty then, round three between these two and ooh, we're on the beach. Can the Euoplocephalus come from behind to win? Or can the Talarurus find some fire left in its belly even though it's an earth dinosaur? And win! Okay, so three. And that's a, well, scissors. Yeah, look at that. Ties favour the Talarurus more. Ooh. However, this will favour the Euoplocephalus more. It's our first Quake Saber of this matchup, and it's going to do some major damage. Oh my goodness, it almost killed it. <coughs> wow. Euoplocephalus is not toying around. Oh, well, that was quick. Any chances of an upset in this matchup have been reduced to, well, smashed into oblivion by a well-timed Quake Saber and Kamikaze Tackle from the Uoplocephalus. And ooh, it's going to be an interesting semi-final because it's going to be a clash of the golds. Well, you'll see all the matchups when we look at the bracket thing. Interesting matchups we got here. Well, obviously the one that stands out for me is this one here, the Cychania going up against Uoplocephalus. Probably the two tournament favourites here. Armatus going up against Pinocosaurus. That could be an interesting matchup, but I think like this matchup as well, I suspect that these two are the, quite the favourites. Especially the Tajongosaurus in this matchup, but don't underestimate this Angerurus. It did knock out the Tarkia, and this Pinocosaurus does have some vict fine victories under its belt, so it wouldn't be a surprise if these two made the finals. But yeah, some interesting matchups we got for the semi-finals. We got Pinocosaurus taking on Armatus, Desantururus going up against Tajongosaurus, and Cychania taking on Euoplocephalus. But yeah, that's going to wrap this video up, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on the remainder of this Earth tournament. And as a final reminder, don't forget that if you want to join my tournament, you still have less than a week to enter. Deadline is the 14th. Hope to see you there. And until then, this is Strange Gamer signing out.